This is a quick walkthrough of Estonian internet voting uh, solution as it is used during 2013 local government elections. My name is Peter Marvet. Uh, as you see, the front page is available in English. Uh, it's also available in uh, Russian, but main process is in Estonian language, both English and uh, Russian to have the instructions page so we can vote with the uh, Estonian ID card or mobile ID that is also tied to the uh, government issued uh, identification and there is the explanation and uh, all of the screenshots uh, that we are going to see during the uh, process available as said in both English and Russian but now let's uh, switch into Estonian and uh, we are vote one day from the end of the voting at the moment there is almost uh, 95,000 uh, votes uh, given I must tell that during the rehearsals of uh, this recording I think there has been given like 1,000 votes which is uh, not surprising as if we are looking at the statistics of the past elections, this is the last uh, local e elections where it uh, was almost 16% of the participating voters and last parliamentary elections it was almost 25% of the voters, uh, of, uh, of participating voters, slightly lo lower numbers for uh, uh, eligible voters. Now to the process uh, uh, itself there is the main uh, voting application available for uh, different uh, operating uh, uh, systems i'm recording this on macintosh and there is also additional application for android uh, smartphones that can be used to verify your uh, vote once you have uh, voted so that the vote is uh, recorded in the servers and it also shows that the right vote was recorded and the application is installed already on my phone and I'll be able later to show the screenshot of the actual scanning of the QR code. Actually the voting application is uh, also downloaded uh, as disk image. I have uh, mounted it and here is the voting application that I am launching. Yes, I am willing to launch it and two ways to vote i will be using id card the id card re reader is already connected to my computer and the id card is uh, in the reader i choose it and i need to enter my pin one for identification which i'm doing like that there is the connection to the central server and checking that I do have the right to vote on these elections. And uh, it also tells that uh, I have already voted once, but I can change my vote. Uh, this is because I tried it before recording and actually I will be also changing my vote after uh, making a trial voting for uh, your pleasure. Here is the actual voting page. So here are all of the mm, parties and independents and uh, uh, mm, joined independents who are not parts of the, any party. And I can pick mm, whoever I uh, wish from here. But for this uh, demonstration purpose, uh, let's take from the Tallinn citizens uh, list. Marco Karu, I'm picking him purely for non-political reasons because he's a cool Estonian uh, designer and I really appreciate his uh, work. So completely non-political selection for this demo. And uh, let's confirm. I will be once more shown that uh, I'm going for uh, Marco. And uh, yes, I confirm that. I'm asked for my pin 2, which is the digital signature pin. I'm entering it. By the way, n the numbers you are seeing are, of course, not my actual pin. I have changed that for this recording. My vote is sent to the central server and uh, successfully. 
And now, if I wish, I can launch my application on my Android phone. And I'm doing that, showing it the QR code and uh, seeing on my screen. And uh, I will be making a uh, screenshot of that. And it is now also available in my computer. And it looks like that. So it tells that uh, I have uh, voted for Marco and uh, this is uh, correctly recorded in the servers. So I can now safely close the uh, application and uh, continue with my actual voting process uh, after I have stopped the screen recording. Thanks for watching.